Biker Mike here with another how-to video. This video is going to be on how I diagnosed and repaired an old snowmobile I had. It was, a, I think, a 96 Yamaha VMAX 600 twin liquid-cooled. Uh, basically, what happened with this snowmobile is it was running really, really rich ever since I bought it. I noticed it smoked a lot and there was just a heavy fuel smell to it but I just kind of didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it until I started following spark plugs and I pulled out the spark plugs and it was really they were really really wet <clears throat> so I got digging into it a little bit more and it was running starting to run pretty crappy and um, basically determined that the needle and seat in the carburetor uh, was leaking fuel by. Now it wasn't just the needle part in the seat that sits inside the carburetor. I'm sure you all know how all that works already. And that just the float lifts it up and down to allow more or less fuel into the carburetor, but that really wasn't the problem. The, the needle and the seat were okay. The real problem was is that there's an O-ring. Now, I already threw them out, but there's an O-ring that seals the seat into the bottom of the carb body. Now, that O-ring had deteriorated to the point where it had flattened out and it wasn't sealing that off anymore so the fuel was just basically bypassing the needle and seat it wasn't the needle and seat weren't doing what they were supposed to do so the fuel was just pouring by that o-ring and the needle and seat were pretty much useless at that point in controlling how much fuel was going into the motor through the carburetor so what happened was is that there was so much fuel going into the motor that it was actually washing off the oil on the cylinder and the piston and there wasn't any oil in the motor basically. Now I caught it in time where there wasn't that much damage done but there was enough that it scored the piston and the cylinder it took the chrome plating off of it and you can see there by the intake port how it just basically took a layer of the chrome right off I don't know if you can see with this camera try and zoom it in there but the chrome plating is actually right off there and it's obviously scored so it's pretty much useless at that point so the other cylinder was still fine so what I ended up doing was buying a used cylinder off eBay with a brand new piston and a set of rings for both cylinders and bolted it all back together but the point of this video is is that if you ever seize your motor on your snowmobile or dirt bike or whatever always determine what caused it because you don't want to go to all the expense of rebuilding it and then it happened right away again and if I had it done that if I had to just put it all back together with all new parts it would have happened again and the culprit of the whole thing was basically a three dollar o-ring on the seat for the needle and seat so I ended up buying all new needle and seats with the o-rings I probably only needed to buy the o-rings but I thought I'd replace everything anyways and the snowmobile has been running fine since. Uh, I know who has it now and he hasn't had any issues with it. And that's been, I don't know, four or five years now. So it's probably not a bad idea to actually keep an eye on those O-rings and replace them every so often just as a precaution because with all the ethanol in the fuel, it's really hard on the rubber parts. And I'm pretty sure that's what caused this. Well, I am positive that's what caused this somewhat of an engine failure. And it would have got a lot worse if I hadn't caught it in time. It could have taken out the bottom end. And 
and the other cylinder and the connecting rods and everything and it just would have been a real big mess so if you ever notice your machine running really rich with lots of fuel check out these and keep on top of it before something like this happens so hope this helps anybody who's having any problems with their snowmobiles or if you have this problem with your snowmobile thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe